today, what should I tell you, the practical side? The meditation, all right? Let's see what is meditation is, what we have to do for the meditation. The first thing we have got is the left side, is the mana shakti, is the power of your emotions, all right? Now, emotions are connected with your right side also, prana. Say, for example, if you are emotionally disturbed, just now, we got disturbed. So our shwas, our uh, breathing also increased, and we felt the whole body was sort of reacting, and the we were feeling the uh, reaction of the prana right side also that it was trying to express itself. Like we started, the tears is the water element, and all that came in and the whole emotion was so much pouring out. And <clears throat> with that, our prana was also involved. Say, for example, if you are frightened. If you are frightened, it's not doing it, it's all right. If you are frightened too much, then what happens? It's all right. If you are frightened, then also you get your breathing very fast, isn't it? So it is connected. Yes, come in, come in. So it is connected. If you are frightened, it is connected with your uh, prana in your breathing and your whole system is connected with your emotion, physical system. If you cry too much or if you weep too much or if you are a sad person, that shows on your face. Your, your Vishuddhi chakra also shows. Not only anatta, but also Vishuddhi. Then also your agya goes out. So all the chakras reflect the left side in such a way that physical manifestation is also there. So it proves that both are very much connected. So to, if you have to somehow or other dissolve these two sides within us, the left and the right side, because if you do not dissolve it, you are left halfway here. So you have to dissolve these two things. And to dissolve these, what should we do? What can we do in meditation? Can you suggest? Say, we have got prana and mana. Now prana represents the right side. And the mana shakti is the left side. All right, these two have to be dissolved. Laya means dissolve. Now, how do we do it to dissolve these two things? They are connected with each other. After realization, not So before meditation, we give ourselves a balance, all right? Which side is more, which side is less? At the time, supposing you are emotionally that time disturbed, then you put your right to the left. If you are that time disturbed on the left side, uh, I mean, disturbed in the sense that if your left side is frozen, then you raise your left side and give yourself a balance before meditation. No. Let us see which side is less, first of all. Put your hands like this. Are you all right? Getting cool breeze? Getting it? In this I'm not. All right. Are you getting in this side? No? Something moving? <coughs> cool breeze is coming now. Is there cool breeze? Is it? 
that is cool breeze in your hand. Are you feeling? So, once you have given yourself a balance, then the best thing is to pay attention to your emotions, to manage them, watch them. You can enlighten your emotions by thinking of your mother, right? Just enlighten them. Just she will solve the problem. Whatever are the problems in the mana, all right? So once you get connected with those emotions and you start looking at them in your meditation, you will see these emotions are rising within you and if you try to put these emotions on your mother, as they said, the lotus feet of your mother, they will start also resolving those emotions and they will become sort of uh, expanded, expands. You will extend that in such a way that you, you will feel you are in control of these emotions. You are in control of them, and by that controlling those emotions, your emotions, which are expanded, enlightened, are powerful. And these emotions, when you feel that way, then the cause of those emotions can be solved. <clears throat> For example, just now, you got emotionally stirred up because I talked about, say, his children, naturally, anybody would be. Now, when you are stirred up with that, you put that problem of those feelings that are rising in you, that those waves of feelings that are coming at the lotus feet of your mother. So they get touched, say, by that power, you can say. Then these emotions become enlightened. And when these emotions become enlightened, they have a power to solve the problem. Do you see the point? As if they have reached the shore where they got the light and this problem can be solved. Because now you are not in a, an individual self, you are in the expanse, you are in the samashti. And because you have entered into that position, that's why you have got these powers of entering into another person's body, to see the vibrations of another person, to raise the Kundalini, otherwise you could not have done. So for you it is very easy to do it, because I am also sitting here in person. So easy to put these emotions just there, so that they get enlightened and your wish is fulfilled. Because emotions are nothing but wishes. These are unfulfilled wishes. Now, how they do it otherwise is also this way that you take up these emotions and put them. So that is, these emotions are actually the left side, as I said, is the desire. So the desire is taken, any desire, and is put in the prana. Now how do you put it on the prana? That you control your prana. That's why they do pranayama. See? Like you sit down now, very comfortably. Now you have a desire, you put your attention to that. Attention is very important, see? Now this attention is to be put onto the prana. So the emotions are there and then bring those emotions and put them into your attention. Means they are now, you are aware of them. Now what you do is to watch your breathing. See now, 
try to reduce your breathing. Reduce it. In the sense that you have breathed out, wait for a while, then breathe in. For a long time, then you breathe out. So in one minute, your breathing will be less than normal. All right, try that. Breathe in. Now with the emotions, keep the attention on the emotions. You see, so that the connection is established. Oh. Better? See the Kundalini rises? Now, when you are breathing, you find that there is a space in between which you just leave it vacant. Breathe in. Now leave it vacant. Now breathe out. Now leave it vacant. Breathe in. Keep it there. Then leave it. Keep outside. Now breathe in. Now start breathing in such a way that you stop your breathing. So attention should be on the heart or could be on the emotions. It's better. Keep the breathing inside for a while. So bring it out, then outside for a while. Then again, then you'll find that for a while you will not breathe. Hmm. See, you settle now. The layer takes place between your prana and your mana. Both the shaktis become one. Now, at this stage when you are silent, now you think of your intellect. It's lost. Just think of it, it's lost, it's no more there. So what is happening? Actually, that this layer, the attention goes into the intellect and enlightens the intellect. Ah. See, the thought is not there. Try to find your intellect within yourself. Now see, see where is my intellect? Try to find it. It's not there. It's not working. Again try it. It is working, but it has become the samashti. It's become the collective now. 
ha. See now, did you follow that? <coughs> There's no thought. <sighs> this exercise will give you <coughs> this thoughtless awareness, establishment of thoughtless awareness. There is no thought. So the second lesson, all right? May God bless. Mm. Yesterday I told you about the physical side. Is how to physically achieve the balance by doing all these movements and all that, and then also raising your Kundalini like that, <coughs> and how to put certain chakras in places, like first of all the Muladhara, which is very important, Muladhara chakra. For that the exercise, as I told you, has to be with both the feet. Can we try that again? Just to put the, both the feet together. No. I'll try to pull it towards yourself. No, no, with this crown, huh? holding it yes, towards yourself and push the thing down. Yes. <laughs> now, the other way, round, other way round you can do it is to push it downward and pull, yes, with the hands, you push it down. Yes, now, push it up, the, the heel shoe. Yes, now, push it towards yourself. Again, again. Now put it down on the sides. Stiff, I was. All right, again. Now I'll tell you one. We may try another thing for this. Is to put your one foot across and one foot like this. Let's see. Push it. Yeah. Now it's better that way. Now push it up. Push. It's this one, upward. Just push it how much you can. Push that down. Yes. Push one down and one push up. It's better. Now the other one you do the same way. Push that down at the same time. Uh -huh. Now push that up. Awesome. With one hand you can push that up, one hand you can push that down. Would be better right there. No, like this, like this, like this. Just try. Uh, hold it from the sides. Hold it from the sides, like he's holding. No, no, that huh? That put it down your hand. Yes. Now hold it this foot with the left hand. With the left hand. It doesn't go that side. <laughs> like the way he's sitting. All right. It's all right. Uh, now push it. Push it down. This one and push that up. Push that up and push this down. Now the other one you try. Now the other one you try. Again. Hmm. Can you? No, no, no. That one down now. Which one was? Yes, correct, correct. Now, this is the other way, huh? Just push it, push that one down as much as you can. Push this up. Now you will see it will little bit open out. Now see yourself. Is it opening out? Now put it, put it down again. See. Is it better now for sitting? Mm. Better. Now see now, is it better? Slightly. <laughs> <laughs> it's better now. It's less strain here. Right. Yeah. You see, gradually it will work out. 
gradually it will work out for you people because you are not used to it na? so at this age also it's rather difficult but it will work out gradually that you sit like that from now if she sits like this you see from the very childhood then she can never sit like this sure. can you sit can like that let's see let's see if you can sit ah to be like cross for meditating ah good you can do it you are good excellent she is good ah that's better in a very supple manner that's supple but you see that's how you grow and then when you do not you give up this habit as you start sitting on a chair you give up the habit and then the chair becomes you see the way she was sitting i cannot sit the way she was sitting at the bill like that and she sits right down on the floor yeah. she has her legs up there it's just it's really spring the back of my legs children are very supple now then you see this is one thing i told you how to improve your muladhara yesterday all right now the second thing was about the swadishta you have to hold both the legs together like this try to push it together so no, push it like that hold the hand and just turn just try to take out the feet up Uh, it's <laughs> tall. You see, that's the, now it's all right. Now you turn on on the water like this. Yes, the tall people are. Too much light. Yes. Now see, that's how. Now you will see your swadhisthana will improve. Hmm. Just move. See. Now let us see. Now put your hands towards me. Let's see. Swadhisthana improves. Swadhisthana improves.